The FIFA decision to award the World Cup to Qatar in 2022 was highly controversial. FIFA is the international governing body of football. In their statutes, they list among their objectives advocating for integrity and fair play. FIFA spectacularly failed to live up to those statutes, and they failed in three ways. When they awarded the World Cup to Qatar, they awarded it to a country in which homosexuality is prohibited by law. No fair play there. The emerging stories about the deaths of migrant workers who were building the stadia led to FIFA issuing a statement calling for nations to focus on football. This drew heavy criticism from human rights organisations. And thirdly, lots of teams said that they wanted to wear a rainbow one love armband when they were playing on the pitch to support the LGBTQ community. And FIFA said, if you do that, we'll show you a yellow card. What should FIFA have done? Three simple things, really. They should have acknowledged that the law in Qatar was going to be offensive to footballers, to football supporters, and was going to cause a number of issues for them. So they should have entered at least into negotiations and or discussions with the Qatari government. The second thing was that when the media began to cover the deaths of migrant workers who were involved after all in building stadia in which football would be played, they should have called for a public inquiry. And thirdly, they should have actually applauded the footballers who wanted to wear the One Love armband and encourage them to do so on the pitch as a show of solidarity with the LGBT community who are both footballers and football supporters.